A big developing story tonight, folks. It's a contentious night in Cobb County as one of the lowest tax counties in the metro area considers raising property taxes now. Ryan Kruger joins us live from Cobb County. And Ryan, there was a lot of fiery debate tonight. We talked about this at 10 o'clock, and I suspect that it's continuing. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, Ron, especially whenever the vote came in right at 10 o'clock that Cobb County will be paying higher property taxes next year than they've paid before. And what was interesting is, you know, Cobb County is a very conservative area. You would think most of the voters were against the property taxes. Certainly a lot of them were, but it was almost half and half. A lot of people saying they wanted to raise their own taxes to pay for things like better police services, keep their parks open. Meanwhile, there were a lot of opponents who said there are other places where you can cut instead of raising taxes. My God, I will give up a Starbucks so that our police have whatever the hell they want. This is nothing more than taking from those with the greatest ability and giving to those with the greatest need. We used to be the benchmark in Metro Atlanta for being the best, and I fear we will lose that if we don't correct course tonight. I urge the commissioners to vote no on the unnecessary harmful millage increase and no on the shamefully bloated new budget. Maybe some of the commissioners would prefer that we move out of Cobb so that a younger family can move in and pay higher taxes. For my purposes, you'd want to raise it 1.9 or 2.1, that'd be fine with me too, because I expect the best in this county. And whatever the best costs, I expect you to deliver. So how did we get here? Cobb County leaders say there's a budget shortfall somewhere between 30 and 55 million dollars. They threatened to shut down up to 10 county parks if they couldn't pass the proposed tax increase. So let's take a look at what Cobb County residents will now have to pay. Let's say you own a $200,000 home. Well, your county property taxes were likely just under $2,000 this year. Under the new millage rate, you would see an increase of a little more than 300 bucks a year. That's about 26 bucks a month. Cobb County, of course, is famous for having some of the lowest taxes in the metro area, especially compared to the other counties of the same size. And so even with the increase, Cobb County will still be lower than uh, other counties like Gwinnett, Fulton, DeKalb County. Uh, it was a 3-2 vote, very close. Meanwhile, County Chairman Mike Boyce says with the additional uh, increase that you're going to have, he does believe not only will they be able to keep all the parks open, but that they will be able to restore some of the cuts that the county made during the recession.